Hey guys, welcome back. This time, I'm going to share a blaster that I made, but there are some problems, and that result in my first drink of this type of blaster failing. So I think this may be a reference if you are also a 3D painter player or a trainee to design make a blaster with a 3D painter. So let's get started. This time, I want to make a mini blaster with a screw and a metal screw in order to make this easier to put them together. To be honest, I had a long time not to design a blaster, so this also was my point to restart my blaster DIY project. The reason why I made this type of blaster, the real bolt action, is because I made a reel on the gun's body and it can have the function of hooking the bolt when the boat is pulled back. Actually, this is my old design. Several years ago, I made several small cardboard blasters. At this time, I was going to make an easy mechanism blaster, since I don't want to cut very delicate parts to make the blaster. Because always, in my opinion, a more precise mechanism means more complexity, and that will make the project more difficult to complete. So, easy mechanisms and easy making are always my goal when I design a new project. And in this opinion, I made the prototype of the real boat action blaster with a cardboard. So, this 3D painted real boat action project can be identified as continuing and improving this cardboard blaster project. Although the direction is clear, the process is not smooth. It seems like it's just using the PLA material and the 3D painter instead of the cardboard and the knife, but there are still many points that I need to resolve. According to the situation of building my first gene of a 3D painted real bolt action blaster, I found that seemingly I ignored the features of a 3D painted parts. So this was resulted in many parts being too small, and it is not smooth to put them together, such as the axle of the trigger with 1.5 mm diameter. Even I feel that it was hard to pick up with my finger, so I had to use tweezers. Then the barrel needed to be fixed. When I pulled the bolt, the barrel even couldn't hold it force, and it turned a little bit. In addition, this time, I chose a kind of 6mm soft ball, but because it was too soft, the bolt couldn't move smoothly. I think the key is that the soft ball was not fit for the barrier and the bolt when they worked together. So the next time, I think I have to improve the bolt, especially the top of it. Overall, for the next gen, besides those that I have mentioned, some two small parts need to be enlarged, especially the pin, the axle of trigger, and I still need to make the shell sinker. The only satisfying point for me was that this system is possible, although the blaster didn't shoot the soft ball out. It still can show the small screw. So this is my first gym real bolt action blaster. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. See you in the next Gene Blaster video. Bye.